Hey guys, what's up? I'm Elizabeth. I'm a certified personal trainer. This is my studio here in Houston, and these are my groceries. I've been wanting to do a Trader Joe's shop with me for a while, but as you may or may not have previously seen on YouTube, they don't really like people to film in there. So we're just gonna do a good old fashioned grocery haul. I wanted to haul this week especially because I kind of stocked up on all my staples. It was a pretty big grocery shop, so you'll see almost everything. There's a few things I'll cut in that I already have, but you're seeing almost everything that I get at Trader Joe's on a regular basis. Now, the way I'm eating right now is for fat loss, moderately rapid fat loss for me, what I know works for me. I'm not eating grains really at home. I'm not eating a ton of carbs. My carbs are coming from fruit and veggie sources and I'm eating a really plant-based diet. I just wanna point that out because sometimes when we go plant-based, we aren't going plant-based. We're going maybe meatless, but we're filling in kind of those gaps with other foods that aren't necessarily plants. So if you're struggling with trying to figure out how to fit more plants into your life, take note. Or if you just watched like Fork Over Knives or uh, how those other like vegan scare stories, we'll talk about those in other videos. Maybe I've already posted those by the time you post these. Anyway, I haven't set anything up. We're just gonna get, dig in here and see what we got. I love this kale. It makes me feel guilty because it's in this plastic bag and it doesn't need to be, but it's already washed and chopped in there and it's really fast and easy just to cook this down and have it ready. So I use this kale as the base for most of my bowls that I'll make for lunch or dinner. I'll take a green like this or some of the others I'll use. I didn't purchase them this week, but like broccoli slaw or shaved Brussels sprouts or even these guys. I love their organic zucchini. You have to look at the package kind of carefully, just like everything. Sometimes at Trader Joe's and make sure they're all okay. You really want to look at the stem end, especially this flat end where it's been cut from the plant and make sure that it's not starting to look a little off already, right? Organic produce does spoil faster. I know it's okay. It's why I like to get the pre-washed, pre-cut stuff when I can so I know I won't lose it to those extra five minutes of prep time that I just couldn't make. But anyway, I will just slice this up and I don't really have a zoodler. I do have um, a special vegetable peeler that'll cut me little ribbons if I really want it or I'll run it through like the mandolin side of my box grater, but I could just also cut it with a knife, saute it or bake it and use that as the base of a bowl. Someone recently turned me on to these teeny tiny avocados, right? There's six of them in a bag. And of course it's Trader Joe's. They're known for their rock hard avocados. So I buy these a week before I'm gonna need them and let them sit and ripen. Although my Trader Joe's now has a spot for already ripe avocados separate from their rock hard avocados. I don't mind buying them rock hard and letting them ripen. I can plan ahead a week. Anyway, I never bought the teeny tiny ones at Trader Joe's because I was like, oh, that's gonna be all stone, I'll pit. Like, why would I do that? But actually, these are the best avocados I've ever gotten from there. So, word to the wise, teeny tiny avocados. Snack size, ready to go. We got more plants in here. I have some dried plants. These freeze-dried fruits are so fun. It's just fruit, there's no sugar. Um, this freeze-dried apple slice does have vitamin C added just as a little preservative. I guess it was in brown. Um, but yeah, no sugar. And if you are the kind of person who likes to snack until a bag is empty, I'm not saying that's something I want to encourage, but if you are a person who needs to be able to sit down in front of the TV and eat a whole bag of something, these could also be that. I like to use them to top my chia bowls or just for a crunchy on the go snack. Um, I usually keep some of these in my car actually in case I get like caught running late between appointments. If there's traffic or something takes longer than I thought and I have to get back here and train, I will grab a handful of these and it won't throw off my day. I won't be hungry and they're really tasty and the textures are really fun. If you ever had astronaut food from like a science museum growing up, you're gonna be right back there with these. These are also the same strawberries like Starbucks puts in their refreshers, right? When they put those freeze dried berries in, I'm not saying they get them from Trader Joe's, but you can throw them in your water and have another interesting sort of taste and texture experience. Trader Joe's also has freeze dried raspberries, blueberries, bananas, mangoes. Um, I've had all of those except for the raspberries just cause I don't do great with raspberries, but um, they're all awesome. So check them out and they're not, um, I don't think they're expensive really at all, so. Big old box of organic blueberries, love those. And 
kiwis. So plants in general have so many nutrients in them that we need. A lot of these like kale is full of vitamin K, blueberry has anthocyanins and other key antioxidants, the strawberries as well, rich in vitamin C, um, avocados, the zucchinis, all of these are so rich in vitamins that you need for glowing skin, healthy joints, healthy hair, healthy teeth, healthy you, healthy cells. And while we're talking about healthy, that's how I make my chia bowls, this and this. Now, don't at me, this has added sugar, all right? This is one of my only sources of added sugar in a day. And in my serving, um, I use about a half a cup of this. There's a total of four grams of sugar, so about a teaspoon of added sugar in here. That's my added sugar for the day usually. Sometimes I'll do a little fancy coffee or fancy yogurt. We'll see one of those as well. But this is my added sugar for the day, my one teaspoon. Um, these two together, I love them. It comes out nice and creamy. I take two tablespoons of this, half a cup of this, stir it together, top it in the morning with maybe those kiwis or those blueberries, some freeze-dried fruit for a little extra texture. It's delicious and it's ready to go. It's something you could pack in a jar or in a Tupperware, keep the freeze-dried fruit at work, and you'd have a delicious breakfast every single day. So get your essential fatty acids right here. Um, this coconut milk is fortified, you know, for the vegans out there with B12 and vitamin D, which is also good, of course, because your body cannot manufacture those. You must eat them. If you are vegan and you're not taking a vitamin D supplement, or honestly, if you're like not the best eater, I got two of those coconut milks, and you're not taking a vitamin B supplement, you might want to look into that. This is their organic creamy no salt peanut butter. I like crunchy peanut butter better, but I'm not the only one eating this peanut butter, so creamy it is. And um, this Valencia peanut butter, I gotta say, I'm, I kind of don't believe them that they're not putting sugar and salt. It's so perfectly flavored. I like to get sometimes the freshly ground peanut butter you can make at other grocery stores um, where you grind it yourself. It's fun. You use a little machine. You buy exactly what you want. But this tastes so much better. Like, let's be real. The texture and taste on that freshly grown peanut butter is sometimes like, you know, you need the salt. So I'm all about this peanut butter. Let's see. Uh-huh. Avocado oil. This is something new in my life, and I've actually never tried this one from Trader Joe's. But I made the switch away from coconut oil recently not for any big reason i just got tired of it coconut oil has been a staple in my life for 11 years and avocado oil was on deep clearance at another grocery store so i picked up a little bottle just to see and i really liked it i like to fry up my tofu in this um if i'm cooking plantains and i'm frying them i like to put them in this just kind of whatever you need a higher heat oil remember you're not supposed to be frying in your olive oil so if you need a higher heat oil um consider avocado oil in your life. I really like the flavor of it. It's mild, it's not avocado-y, it's good. We got one lemon. I think their price on lemons is a ripoff, but I need it to make my lemon tahini dressing that I put on my bowls. I did not buy tahini, but hopefully we'll insert a shot of that somewhere. It's just it's a little jar. It's kind of like peanut butter. It's just made from sesame seeds. You probably know what it is. You're smart. Now this actually, this one I got specifically for this video. These fruit leather buttons. Um, I wanted to do a comparison. Oh, okay. 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 I thought they were ripping us off. They're not. Sorry. It's, I'm all about that, that value. So, these fruit leathers, they've had forever. This is another great, like, purse snack or glove box snack, although I have had some of these melt and escape their wrapper. I mean, after, like, we're talking a couple of years, but the Texas heat is no joke, y'all. Um, I love to keep some of these around again for that, like, oh, I need something. It's something, it's flat, it could go in your wallet, like be prepared. These fruit leather buttons are new, so I'll insert shots somewhere as well. They're little circles, and I thought they were gonna be like little gummies. I was really excited. They are big flat circles about the size of like um, a US dollar coin. They're, they're fine, they're fun. They're already cut out, you don't have to peel anything. Um, they're a little messier than just the fruit leather bar, so like, but you could probably do something fun. You could probably like roll it up in a little cone and put cream cheese in there or something and make a fancier snack for peanut butter, but, you know, do you? All right, that's two bags done. We're gonna leave the cold stuff over here. We got half and half in quantity. I'm not, I'm not afraid of some half and half. So this is 32, two tablespoon 
servings, um, I probably get up to like four to six tablespoons in the coffee that I drink every day. So like, we, we may drink all that in a week. Uh, I'm not scared of it though. I was just looking at the saturated fat to see if I should be scared. I'm not scared of it. I'm not scared. We got the cream cheese. This is really basic. Uh, it's not my favorite cream cheese, but I also don't like going to a hundred grocery stores. So there's that. We got another one of those in here. Oh, we got another veggie. Frozen asparagus. So to be totally honest, if you were ultra lazy, you could, because all frozen vegetables that are firm like this are pre-blanched, which means that they've been quick boiled and then cooled back down and packaged and that retains their color without the need for any preservatives. Um, you could just open the package or not even open the package, just throw it in your fridge and it'll be defrosted in the morning and kind of fine and ready to go. But I will either do that or just throw it on a sheet pan and stick it in my oven at 350 while I'm prepping other stuff in the oven. And then I will chop this up and use this also as the base for a bowl. So um, I have been known to eat the entire bag at a time. But it's good and that it can live in your freezer, right? It's always ready. So if you're like, oh, I don't have dinner, this plus some tofu, which I didn't buy today, or chicken or whatever, um, I'll insert shots of all that stuff. That I keep on hand, totally make it, or eggs. Oh, I already put my eggs in the fridge. Eggs. You know what eggs look like. I buy them. So I'm trying this for the first time. It's the Trader Joe's organic turkey breast. There's no fillers or anything. So we'll see. This is a good quick snack with some lettuce or cheese or mayo or all of the above and just roll it up. Um, yeah. Also works well for rewarding my dog during training. And speaking of cheese, New Zealand organic cheddar. This is not the sharpest cheddar, but I also wouldn't consider it mild. Um, and it's got a really, it's a pretty firm texture. Not firm, not like, it's still, it's still not a firm, it's not a hard cheese, but it's firm. So, and then of course, these little guys, these are other, these are also great for snacks um, just to have with you on the go. So honestly, if you had one of these and one of these, you'd be clocking in 120 calories with five, five grams of protein, 12 grams of carbs, and uh, six grams of fat. It's pretty balanced. It's pretty balanced. It's a little low on protein if you want to be like totally technical, but um, that's such a great like, oh, I have to run to the mall and return this, or, um, you know, I was supposed to eat a snack at work and I didn't, and now I'm going to my spin class and I feel like I'm gonna pass out. Like, it's a good little combo there with zero effort, and speaking of zero effort, these PBJ bars. Um, if you saw my Christmas treats haul, I talked about the gingerbread bars. Those were seasonal, they're gone. We miss you. So, I don't love the brown rice syrup, and I don't love that there's 23 grams of carbs um, out of 150 calories, so it, at four, I mean, these are just carbs, right? At four calories per gram, these are just carbs. These are carb bars, even though they're peanut butter and jelly. Um, it's mostly like sugar and crust, but they're so good. And when you need something that, again, can just be with you, it's not the worst. So this would be one of my other potential sources of added sugar. Um, yeah, they don't, they're gonna have to relabel this soon. They don't spec out how many of the sugars are added, but there's only 11 grams of sugar per bar. So that's another two teaspoons if I had one of these, plus uh, my chia bowl with the coconut milk. We'd still only be clocking three added teaspoons of sugar for the day. So I'm still within the range of what we currently believe in 2019 to be healthy. So while we're talking about added sugars, I not only, oh, I already put that away too. I buy the European whole milk yogurt, I don't know, it was specifically European, but it's creamy. It used to be kind of thicker, honestly, um, and it's got stabilizers. It's not my favorite thing, but Trader Joe's doesn't sell a yogurt that I love in a big container. However, this is also full of stuff that I wouldn't normally want to eat. Lots of added sugar, um, 13 grams of added sugar, four grams from the fruit or from the lactose in the milk, and 13 grams of added if they calculated that right. So. It's a sugary little sugar bomb. You might as well just eat like a scoop of ice cream for that amount of sugar, but it's tasty. So other people in my household like this. It's a win. In my book, 
And then my other favorite source of added sugar, if you have not tried this, it is so good. It doesn't taste like coconut water, um, it just tastes like yuzu, which is this delightfully, come on, it. It doesn't taste like coconut water if you've had bad coconut water experiences, it just tastes like yuzu, which is this light, crisp, sort of Meyer lemony citrus. It's so good. And there are these little cans. So this is my post-workout treat. Sometimes after I work out, I want, sometimes after I work out, I want a drink that has flavor and maybe a little bubble. And I'm a human being. So this is not my like caloric reward. Um, no added sugar, all the sugars from the fruit. It's not my caloric reward for working out. It's just something that I would like to have after I work out. So I keep some of these on hand all the time in case I want a drink with some flavor, but I'll also have like herbal iced tea if I've made that ahead of time or something like that if I want a little flavor or just lemon water or throw some of those berries in your water and do those freeze dried berries and do a little infusion, but they're so good. Um, honestly, I can't imagine any monster of a creature not liking these, like they're good. Last thing in my bag, surprising, bagels, what? So. One of these bagels clocks in, traffic. So one of these bagels clocks in 44 grams of carbs, and I tend to eat under 100 grams or right at 100 grams of carbs a day, maybe 120 um, in sort of ordinary time when I'm just here, uh, petting fat, leaning out, all that. So what am I doing with a bagel? Well, I'm doing personal trainer stuff and I am not eating a whole bagel in one serving. Problem solved. This is another food that other people in my household like. And so we share at breakfast and I love the flavor. The texture is fine for a gluten-free bagel. I'm stuck gluten-free for life here unless science intervenes. So it's not the worst gluten-free bagel I've ever had. And of course, it's got that everything on the outside. You can also get there everything but the bagel seasoning. I've got that. I don't add it extra, although I could. But like bagel and cream cheese is one of my favorite combos. Sometimes I'll put peanut butter, sometimes I'll put both. Sometimes I'll even get like super wild and put peanut butter and some of those freeze dried strawberries and do like a weird PBJ. Um, but yeah, that'll be an easy breakfast treat that I can have. And if instead of having the full bagel, I have half the bagel or a quarter of the bagel, which is actually a lot more than it sounds like. It's not sad, it's not my whole breakfast. It's there with a full plate of scrambled eggs and spinach and all this other stuff with it. Um, I get all the flavor and all the bagel I want every single day without busting through any of my macro targets right now. So, so that's that. I got three empty bags. I also bought a couple plants. I'm not a monster. Oh, I had another cheese. Yeah. So yeah, that's that. That is, I'm just checking to make sure I showed you off everything. That is what I brought home this week to feed myself. Um, again, plus those eggs and one other cheese, a whole milk mozzarella that I forgot. I already put it in the fridge because I didn't want it to spoil and it took me a second to get set up and get everything to cooperate so I could do this. Um, but that is my grocery haul. This will last me for more than a week. Almost all of the greens and the veggies and the fruits will get used up. Some of these pantry items um, will get used up. I also always buy two cream cheeses at a time because like, you don't want to run out of cream cheese. Yeah. What do you think? Were you shocked? It's all real food. It's not like diet food. It's not like light. It's just food. This is how I'm eating. This is how I'm dropping two to three pounds of fat a week. It's all about doing what works for you. And again, keeping it plant-based means that I am full all the time, but I'm still getting all the nutrients my body needs um, because I'm, I'm focusing on the plants. Honestly, saying plant-based to me just means that your plate should be based on plants every single time, even if there's meat on there. Doesn't mean vegetarian, it means that you are emphasizing all of those healthy colors like asparagus green and the blueberries and these bright little guys, right? You're eating your colors and those colors make up the majority of your plate because those colors are where you are getting your nutrients from. So, 
Thanks for chilling with me. What is your favorite thing to get at Trader Joe's or what undiscovered snack do you love to get from there that you think I should talk about in my next video? Leave me a comment down below. If you wanna see all the rest of our fun content coming up this year, follow along with my progress as I continue to you know, bounce back as I've been calling it. Make sure you subscribe and like this video if you liked this video. Sorry that like I'm green and then yellow. It's uh, and the sun is just going behind clouds and like it's just a Monday when I'm filming this and we all know Monday. Anyway, we'll catch you next time.